where you see him laying up against the brick wall there, that was a house right behind that, a large house. And it's completely reduced to rubble. A half mile, any direction, that was the only living creature we found. The car fire was the largest and most destructive fire we had in Shasta County ever. We heard the radio call come in for a kitten that was found in a burned out car. When we first got there, a tree had fallen down across the driveway, so we had to push past the tree to get up to where the kitten was. I don't think I would have survived what that cat survived. Hi, Kiki. Oh, man. Yeah, he's in really bad shape. Come here, Kiki cat. Come here. Where are you at? The car that he ends up running in and hiding in, the aluminum wheels on that car are melted into liquid. It was a miracle that he was alive. I spent probably about 30 minutes calling to him. Come here. Come here. Come on. So I reached my bare hand back down into the hole. After about 10 seconds, I felt him lay his head in my hand. I was able to get my arm underneath his little body and pull him out of there. If he wouldn't have come up to me, I couldn't have gotten him. He chose to come to me, and in that moment, I knew if, if this cat survives, I'm gonna make a part of my family. Mm. Oh no, we're gonna get you some help. Mm. We're gonna get you some help. Mm. Hold on. He had third degree burns on all four paws. The vets looked at him and they were hopeful, but they didn't make me any guarantees. They said, you know, if he makes it through the night for the next 48 hours or so, we think he's gonna make it. It was cool to watch his recovery. He was so loving, even though you knew he was in pain and you could see him all bandaged up and all of his burns, and he loved being loved on. Within two days of being at my house, getting to know Callie, getting to know my wife and being in the home, he totally started to change. His personality went from being scared and clingy to really adventurous and brave. I named him Vulcan, which is the Roman god of fire. There he is. He started chasing around my dog. We've never been able to allow her to have another dog. She just goes too hard, she runs herself too hard, she injures herself. So having a cat that's like, loves to play with her and be around her and to see that relationship unfold so quickly was such an awesome gift. He stole my heart from the moment I saw him. Still very much a kitten, but, uh, hey buddy, how are you doing? He's a love bug. He loves Callie way more than he loves me and my wife. That's his big sister. Really enjoy having him part of my family. He's been really special.